Welcome to More Than No Podcast. I am your host, Josh Bourne, Vice President and Co-Founder of Field Supplements, as well as Sobriety, Woke, Business, and Wellness Coach. More Than No delivers an array of content based on marketing, health and fitness, personal branding, addiction, and often goes down the rabbit hole of conspiracy and the truth. If you seek to better understand the inner workings of human performance, consciousness, business, and humanity, you've come to the right place. Thank you for tuning in and taking along let's get today's podcast started what's up what's happening more in the no family today is day number three of 30 for my 30 for 30 podcast special that i'm kicking off more in the no brand first and foremost thanks you to everyone who's been tuning in and taking along with the more in the no journey i appreciate every single one of you who've shared the content like check out the website sent me awesome messages share with your friends family and network that's what this is all about and obviously yesterday's podcast was based completely around Supporting your friends, man, and I have some really awesome people that support me, and I just want to say you do not go unappreciated, and I absolutely love each and every one of you. Uh, today's podcast, I didn't really have a topic in mind, I had nothing that really like struck home, um, but I did post on my Instagram some a opportunity for those out there to request some topics so request me to talk about some things and what i'm going to talk about today is that it really kind of seems when i go through the uh, responses to the podcast ideas is one big thing that sticks out to me is i see the word motivation motivation success what keeps you inspired overcoming disappointment motivation so a lot of motivation on here a lot of inspiration a lot of motivation and so i think that key thing that I will talk about today about motivation is I feel that motivation is really short-lived. I feel that motivation is like the energy that you feel. Like let's just say you go to some sort of event. If you guys have ever been to like a networking event or a business event, like an oorah Tony Robbins event, where you're at the event and you're around five, 10,000 people, you're, or you're at a football game, or you're, at a, you're a young, inspiring athlete, and you go to a combat sports arena, or you're a football player, or a basketball player, and you go watch a college game, or you're in this space, right? You're in this space where you're involved with all these different people that have so much energy based around the one thing that you want to be doing. And typically, when you're in that setting, you're just the observer and you're being shown something's going on here. You know, in business, it's you're at a business conference, you have a speaker that's up there, and they're, you're, you're in this oorah moment, this ah, right? This high intensity, high energy moment where you're filled with all sorts of emotions, you got endorphins rolling, you got dopamine being released out of your body, and you are saying, I can do it. I can do this, right? You have that in your body, you watch somebody out, go out there and perform well on the basketball court or the, the hockey rink or the football field or the wrestling mat or the octagon in the cage and you say man that can be me and you get incredibly motivated and are filled with energy and that's what i feel motivation is motivation to me is that burst of energy that you feel initially it's the burst of energy that you feel initially when you say that you want to do something but i feel that motivation is like a fast burning wick on a candle i feel that motivation burns out quickly the moment that you have adversity, the moment that there's obstacles, the moment that you really start to understand that it's a consistent game, growth over consistency, growth over t- time, and you start to understand, hey, this might not happen overnight. Motivation is really short-lived, I believe, and that's where you got to step into a space of inspiration. Now, I know it seems cliche that I'm comparing the two different words, but motivation and inspiration are completely two different things. Motivation is the feeling that you set the goal in the moment inspiration is what keeps you going and inspiration is backed by your why now if you can trace back to your why every single time that something gets hard or something comes in the way or you want to give up or you or people start to naysay about what you're doing if you could trace back to your why why are you doing this why have you set out to accomplish the goal that you're setting out to do why now if you don't have that written down and you don't have a clear defined why and a reason and a purpose things are going to be easy to give up on. You're going to find yourself, once again, going back into that life and tiptoeingly quietly through life to one day arrive safely at your game. You're going to be sitting on the bench and you're going to be watching the game of life pass you by. But if you're inspired, if you have inspired action, inspiration 
is not this raw, raw, ha energy. I can do this. I'm going to fucking do it if it kills me energy. Inspiration is this calm, cool, and collected, relaxed intensity where you can sit back, stay rooted, check into your body, be here now, and deliver content from source easily and effortlessly. Anything that comes in your way, any bits of adversity, challenges, you're able to adapt, change, overcome, but stay present. You don't get overwhelmed. You don't get anxious. You don't let the chaos bring you into these low levels of energy. When you're inspired, you respond and you don't react. You don't have reaction. People can't humiliate you. People can't get a rise out of you. Inspiration is that space where you can live and be and stay in long term. Motivation is that short burning wick in the candle that gets you fired up. And I believe that motivation plays a huge role in the grand scheme of getting you to get to that point of being in your body and being inspired. But motivation itself is really short lived. It's not enough. So you have to be and live in inspiration and have to be and live an inspired life. Inspired life is that ability to be able to understand why you're doing what you're doing, be able to wake up each day with the purpose, with the process, and with the plan. That's the biggest thing about anything that involves success in life. Anything that you take a look at, there is a plan. You can't just be shooting from your hip. You can't just be waking up and saying, oh, I want to do this, but then have no actual plan of action. This isn't the secret, okay? When you're not just going to be thinking things from eating potato chips on your couch and then one day having them happen. The law of attraction is nothing without action. So you must put in action. There has to be a plan of action in place because your actions and what you are doing must be conducive to your thoughts, right? And I'll, I'll jump into some of the laws of attraction, the uh, laws of metaphysics, what you think you will become, what you think what you can see in your mind, you'll hold in your hand. All this stuff is great. I read, the, I read The Secret when I was in the seventh grade. And I began to apply those concepts through high school, but it wasn't until I was around like 19 or 20 that I really understand everything, that I really don't understand the law of metaphysics. And now that I'm 26, turning 27, I really feel I've had some quantum leaps from the levels of consciousness where I'm able to be rooted, I'm able to really comprehend this and not understand it like in the sense I'm a master of it, just simply understand it enough to use it to my benefit because the world is energy and the more that you can harness and the more that you can focus and the more that you can do these things, you can manifest the things that you want to create in your life. But it's not going to happen overnight and that's the biggest thing and that I want to tell people and that's why I'm sharing this podcast, that's why I'm doing uh, doing so much within my personal brand on top of field supplements and everything that I'm doing is to show that, you know what? I'm going to have videos, maybe I'll do a thousand of these before they get a thousand views each. Maybe I'll do 10,000 of them. But here's the thing, time over consistency, that's what's, what's going to create results. And one of these times, the right person is going to listen to this and share it with the right person and share it with the right person and share it with the right person. And I'm not here to be perfect, I'm here to be productive. I'm here to buy into the process. And that's what I feel is the difference between motivation and inspiration. Inspiration, you're in the process. You have a plan of attack. You are committed to the, developing the skills and habits necessary to acquire whatever, you is, whatever it is that you have set out to accomplish. That is inspiration. That's why I set this 30 days, 30 podcasts, 30 blogs, because I wanted to allow myself to have to step up, raise my consciousness, raise my skill sets, step into my power and deliver content on demand each and every single day. I had a plan of action. I wrote it down on a whiteboard and I said, I'm going to be doing this for the next 30 days. I'm going to create this. And then when the 30 days are done, that content's going to be created, created. And then after that, I'm going to continually do this Monday through Friday, every single week. I'm going to do five podcasts a week. Why? Because it takes consistency. I had somebody say something about, well, why would you, what, your, you know, your content, your posts are only getting five views or 10 views or 10 likes or, or this and that. And I just started laughing. Do you think everyone who's been successful went from zero to hero? Do you think everyone who's ever had anything turn, turn into something great went from absolutely nothing, started it on day one and had 10,000 views? Sure, there might be a couple anomalies. There might be a couple outliers in the process. But I promise you, every single person in the road to success doesn't start there. Doesn't st you don't start at the top. 
Maybe you're born into it, sure. There's a lot of people born in it. We're talking about the average, everyday people, the people, the hardworking Americans, those who really, truly believe in, in the American dream and grassroots capitalism, ground floor level opportunities to build a culture and build a brand from the start, from the very beginning. Those, every single story of that is like a rag to riches story. Every single one that you listen to. Why? Because success takes time. Success takes time over consistency. Success, success takes inspired action daily over and over and over again. And when you can step into the space of inspired action daily, understand that there's going to be some ups and downs. Understand that there's going to be some valleys. But what you do in the valleys like right now, and that was something that was also asked in the Instagram responses is that how do you stay motivated during COVID-19? It's so hard. And I believe that right now, this is the most inspired that I've ever been. I've been feeding off this energy. There's a lot of energy surrounding the world right now. There's a lot of good energy. There's a lot of fear and negativity, but there's also, or there's a lot of bad energy, sorry. But there's also a lot of good energy. There's a lot of, also a lot of people who are moving from these vibrational frequencies of fear and doubt and maybe they're moving into anger and moving into pride and maybe they're just moving one transmutational level up on the scale of consciousness but that switch that change automatically raises the entire vibration in the entire world and right now more than ever i feel this huge energy source i mean not this not this like I'm the man energy source. It's this who, like this inside power from your lower gut, your lower stomach that you can deliver on command, that you're connected to source, that you don't have to really think. It just flows to your body. And I'm simply a receiver of this information that is allowing it to come through myself. I'm the awareness and I'm able to allow it to come through and deliver through my words, my writing and my actions. And right now, I feel more than ever before in my life, I have felt this. I've felt this major energy shift, this major conscious change in the world. And I'm tuning into this energy. And right now, I've been able to be more committed to developing my skills and habits that are necessary to achieve my goals than I have ever been. I've felt it's been easier for me to wake up every single day than it's ever been ever in my entire life to accomplish my goals dreams and aspirations it's easier for me to go to the gym five days a week it's easier for me to pump out these podcasts it's easier for me to to write these blogs so i don't feel that resistance but i also can understand out there right now we are going through a time of resistance but also understand on the other side of resistance for every force there's a counter force but step into that power, step into your, step into you, that flow, instead of being in force, instead of trying to force things in your life, instead of trying to make things happen, step into that inspired level, calm, cool, and collective energy that you have inside of you. That it's not this energy that it's, I'm, I'm going to make this happen or I'm going to die making it happen. That's not the energy. The energy is, is I'm going to make this happen daily, one day at a time. And that's the energy that you must step into to be and stay inspired. So thank you for, for, thank you for tuning in and taking along. More than no, episode 3 of 30. I'm keeping these short, sweet, and to the point. And uh, I would love for everyone to share this podcast with your friends and family. Just take the link, copy and paste the link, send it to somebody you love who needs to hear this message today. And behind me, I'm in the Field Supplements Lounge. This is the... I guess you could say the third Fueled Supplements Lounge, and this has been the best one that we've had so far, and we're, and we're growing each and every day and each and every year, one day at a time. And if you need to snag some supplements, the best place to go is FueledSupplements.com. Check us out on Instagram, at Fueled Supplements. I just changed my Instagram handle, so it's all synonymous, so my Instagram handle is now more in the know. You can find me on Instagram at more in the know, and be sure to share, be sure to share with your friends and family. I appreciate every single one of you. You have a blessed Thursday.